Hello, welcome. It is Karen from Bobblehead Knits. Um, this is the Vlogtober edition. I don't know what I have filmed earlier today, so we'll just start over. Um, it is Sunday, October 22nd, almost 6.30 in the evening. So um, we got our COVID shots, uh, my daughter and my husband and I, yesterday, and also ate a big fast food lunch <laughs> and today none of us are feeling great <laughs> not not feeling terrible just kind of a little out of sorts very tired um in my case i also think i might have a little sinus not infection but something going on so just kind of a lazy day i wasn't planning on going anywhere um i declared a sick day for all of us but then my daughter-in-law messaged me about making a hat for uh, my grandson because um, they are going to carve a huge pumpkin and stick him in it and take pictures. So they wanted, a, they, she said she wanted an orange hat. So I took that to mean a pumpkin hat. So I found a pattern. Um, well, originally I said, no, I really don't have time to do it this week. I'm having hand surgery and, you know, just trying to wrap up the things I absolutely need to get done, mainly my husband's Halloween socks. Um, and then a few minutes later, I was like, just like, oh, I should just do it because I felt bad. I mean, you can't really say no to a grandchild. So <laughs> even though it was his mom asking, I, I felt like, you know, I had to say yes. So, uh, but it's an easy enough thing. So I found this pattern. It's a pumpkin hat by Jill Albert Allen. It's on Ravelry and it called for worsted weight yarn. I didn't have any worsted weight in orange and green because, you know, it's a little tiny bit of green. So I had my husband run me over. I didn't want to want to get like expensive yarn, hand dyed yarn, because this is like going to be a quick and easy knit that he's going to wear once, you know, he's going to outgrow it. So, um, I just went ahead and bought some, um, yarn at Michael's. So I bought two skein skeins. The first one is loops and thread. It's the soft classic yarn in the pumpkin colorway. Here it is. Actually, I think they need to rename this to the Cheeto colorway because it looks like Cheetos. <laughs> um, and then for the little sp spiral thing, the stem, I got also loops and threads, but this is impeccable is the, the line and it's in the guacamole <laughs> colorway. So I need very little of this because the bulk of the, you know, it's just a little tiny bit. So... <sighs> I've already started. I mean, very easy. Um, I've never knit with this yarn. In fact, I can probably count on one hand how many times I've bought yarn at Michael's. Um, I don't really, I mean, this yarn is fine for what I'm using it for. It's very stiff though, kind of hurting my hands. <laughs> it's um, the equivalent of worsted weight, it's just acrylic. This other yarn, um, the Impeccable, feels softer. I'm hoping it's easier to knit with. So, um, I like I said, I need very little of this. But throughout the day, I've been texting with my daughter-in-law. And I was saying, and this is true, I've, I had wanted to make, I, I kept thinking, oh, I'll make hats for every holiday for him. And then I was like, no, they'll think I'm crazy grandma. So I shot that down. I told myself, no, I wasn't going to do that. But then, as soon as she asked for this, I was like, well, that opened the door for me to make other hats. So, um, there is a Christmas hat that I want to make, and it also calls for uh, loops and thread impeccable. So, I went on, after we got home, this all took place, so I decided to just go ahead and order it online. The yarn, I just need um, red and white, because I do have green. <laughs> so, I'm going to make him an elf hat for Christmas. But that'll be, of course, after my recovery um, from my surgery and all that. But for now, I'm focusing on getting the, the hat done. I've only got probably about an inch, maybe a little more than an inch knit. 
it's an easy knit. It's just that the yarn is really stiff and it it's painful on my hands. My hands were already sore, so it's not going as fast as I would like it to. Um, I did pretty good on guessing though. I didn't realize like nowhere on these does it say worst it weight and good luck finding anyone in the yarn section at Michael's to help you. But I was able, I was looking at it and I was like, oh, I see that number four. I'm going to guess that this is probably worst it weight. And I guessed right. So yeah, it's technically Aaron weight is what they said. So a little heavier than worst it. And when I say what, <laughs> what they said would be the internet because I went and Googled it after I got home. So I do have um, two more skeins of that coming in red and white. So after I'm done with this and after I recover from my surgery, I'll make him a Christmas hat. He's not getting a Thanksgiving hat. He can wear the pumpkin hat for Thanksgiving. Uh, he won't be here for Thanksgiving. They're going to Texas to spend Christmas or Thanksgiving with her family so they can get him a Thanksgiving hat there <laughs> but he can also just wear this it'll be cute um yeah and then I guess I need to make him St. Patrick's Day hat and Easter hat so <laughs> and then he'll be a year old so you know after that it'll be something different <laughs> so but that's down the road um okay uh not much else we're ordering out Chinese. I'm just having some soup and cheese fry or fried cheese wontons because we just don't feel good and that no one wanted to cook and I don't know we're all just kind of lazing about <laughs> so I'm gonna wrap this up. I think I have a little bit of video maybe from the car and my croissant that I ate for breakfast but not very much but um I don't even know if it's choosable, honestly. It may just be this video that, I, or this snippet that I upload. Um, hopefully, well, tomorrow I will be working all day, so I can't guarantee it's going to be any better. But um, I'll at least check in and show you my progress and um, kind of update you on where we are on things. All right, hopefully everyone had a good weekend. And I'll talk to you later.